Okay, here's my current situation. It's now Sunday, and I've been basically, get out of the way, Jamie. Goodness, don't mind that I'm trying to get past you. So, here's what I've done so far. I still haven't worked on this back wall. I've been removing outlets, rerunning wire, so I can put up these two by fours. First, as you've seen, I went extremely overboard and halfway retarded. <laughs> did this right here totally not necessary I, I was just being good I don't know what got into it so anyway you can see I've got new 2 by 4s going up here all the way across now over here I don't uh, this wall right here that this windows in this whole wall is going to eventually get rebuilt as soon as I get a window I need to find out what window I get that way I know my measurement and then I can proceed to tear this wall out and make this header one full piece and tied into this wall. Um, same as down here, the lower plate. I'm going to replace to replace that one by three and actually use a two by four. So you know what I'm doing. So, anyways, I had to add I added a two by four to this ceiling joist, and then I had to add another two by four flat right next to it, which is anchored to this wall because I have to have. A good solid place to anchor the drywall that's all this 2 by 4 here is going to be for because I don't want to have drywall just kind of floating right here even though I'll have the top piece of drywall I want to have a good anchor point and then when I have a, the ceiling or not ceiling but the wall drywall I just wanted to be be able to butt up against something solid so that's why that is um, I'm gonna go outside and see if I don't have a section of 1 by 6 and not one by six but two by six because i'm going to double up the two by six here and probably here and here that way when i mount the barn door those barn doors can be extremely heavy and i want to make sure i've got a good solid place to anchor those big steel barn door uh, rails and rollers so i'm going to strengthen this up quite a bit so that's what i'm going to do now so I can't remember if I've told you guys before. Um, if you're looking into get any, getting into any type of remodeling, there's one thing that you must have, and that's a small and a large framer square. Now, the large one would be, God, it'd probably be from the end of this board to about here. But they're about 30 bucks. I think this is like 20. You definitely want to get one of these. It's an indispensable tool. And it will make your life a whole lot easier. So, say I've got this two by six right here, and I need it to be good and square. Even though you might have brand new lumber this, that you don't think's never been cut, lumber usually is never straight, it's never flat, and it's never square. So before you start, you want to take your square, get on the edge, and make sure that you start with a square piece of wood. As you can see right here. It's close, but it's it's off that much. And it may or may not make a difference. It may make a lot of difference. Just depends how picky you want to get. Now, in my case, I'm not going to worry about it because if it's a little tight, I'll just tap it in with a hammer. Now, there's something else I want to tell you guys. This 2x6 that I have here, it's a treated piece of 2x6. And normally on interior projects, you don't want to use treat it. But it's all I had, and I'm just going to be using these two little pieces, so it's not that big of a deal. The reason being treated puts off a little bit of a, a smell. You know, it, you, you'll know it when you get around treat it. But since this is just an isolated use of it, I don't feel like it'd be a, a big deal. So I'm going to go ahead and use this treated piece. It's like correction. It's a 2x8, not 2x6. I thought I grabbed a 2x6. <laughs> oh, well, it ain't coming out. I guess if you're taller than 5'8". You better watch your head because that's going to hurt. Okay, another update. You can see, ceiling's done. Got the 2 by 4s put up. And come back here to the back bedroom. Got the bedroom wall almost done. As you can see here, got the double plate on the top. I did a double on the bottom. But around, run out of 2 by 4s So I need one, two more 2 by 4s this wall will be done and then I will I need to go ahead and run the electrical wires back through the wall put in the new switches and the new boxes 
in the bedroom and in here and reinstalled new plastic for the top. I would have already done that if I could have found my staple gun. I don't know what happened to it. So I'll install a new plastic over top of this. Do all my new boxes. So let's go in here, show you my boxes. In case any of you all look to do something similar. Here are the boxes for the switch, for new switches or outlets. The cool thing about this one is it can mount to your two by four your wall stud and then if you need to adjust it you can take a phillips head screwdriver screw it in and out and adjust the depth of the box that way it matches your drywall perfect pretty cool it's like two dollars and 68 cents so um i'm guessing i won't have any more updates on the bathroom until this next coming weekend which will be memorial day weekend i don't have any plans other than get a little bit more done to the bathroom so until then and we have more rain so that means no dirt so here's what appears to be going down when the cat's in the hallway in meows that means she wants to come in the living room well jamie immediately goes to the door making her little dog sounds she goes outside the cat comes in the living room does her thing for a little while on the couch and apparently she's like this is my spot i'm claiming this couch as property of the key cat jamie on the other hand is comfortably just laying outside chilling out looking for deer raccoons and whatever else on four legs likes to wander by now she thinks i'm talking about her <laughs> this is how jealous jamie is what she's looking for the cat she heard me say the cat word look at her she's looking there ain't kitty ain't in here go lay down go go lay down go lay down go lay down What? What? I said the three letter word and she knows it too. And she knows the key cat's in here. But yet the cat is just kind of chillaxing. Thank you. Yeah. And Jamie ain't going to have no part of it. There's no key cat. There's no key cat. Sorry, dude. You see what I deal with now. Okay. It is Thursday. About lunchtime. I haven't been working all week except for Monday. And I got me some plants. And as soon as I plant these, I'm going to start working on the bathroom again. This is one of the goals that I want to do this year. Even though I'm not having a big garden. I want to plant something. That way I can say, okay, at least I did it. So, I've got one beef master here. I got me a squish plant. This is a yellow, uh, yellow squash. And I got some watermelon. Got some good old Jubilee. And I was like, well, I was going to make a raised bed for all this stuff. But I'm like, where would I put it? So, I got to thinking, maybe I'll just put stuff back here on my lot in the weeds and just let it grow and then I was like well wait a minute I've got a re <clears throat> I've got a raised bed right on top of my septic tank <laughs> so you know what I think I'm gonna plant these right here I'll get out my little tool scratch this up a little bit clean it up and plant this right on top of here I don't see why this will not be the perfect spot full sun when it rains I get plenty of water and uh I think it's worked out nicely. I'm going to pick up my garbage for where I've been working in the bathroom still. And uh, carry on with the bathroom. On top of the septic is basically a little bit of dirt with the majority of clay. 
<clears throat> so what I'm doing is coming over here under the canopy of the trees and getting some good black dirt because this has been sitting here for years and years and years just composting sticks and leaves and stuff so this is going to be really good dirt and this this basic area there's not a lot of grass so that's good i won't be transplanting grass over there right now <laughs> at a later date it will have grass but let me uh keep getting some dirt and i'm gonna start spreading it over there now i know this isn't optimal but you know we'll see how they do <clears throat> they're supposed to have 18 to 20 inches apart but since the soil is pretty crappy you know i figured their strength in numbers <laughs> so we'll see how these little dudes do i gave them a drink they should be fairly happy and here's a little beef master i didn't have any twine on hand so i just used some you know this stuff to repair drywall for right now when i go up and down i'll get a little thing of twine and tie him up properly looks like he's got a little something going on i don't know if it's blight or that tomato fungus or whatever it might just be underwatered we'll see how he does hopefully he pulls through i've got sad news come to find out i knew i had seen this leaf before like with the dead spots and that is the tobacco mosaic virus i had it really bad in my garden last year and the year before and finally the farmer that lived behind me told me that's what it was so looks like tomato plant is doomed to be buried because there's nothing you can do to get rid of it and it can affect other tomato plants so the virus also lives in the root system of the tomato plant so i'm probably just going to take this dirt put it on my burn pile and burn it because i don't want it to spread to anything else i plant in the future or possibly somehow get on the neighbor's uh, tomato plants because he's got quite a few so that's a shame i'm gonna have to find me a new tomato plant so I had to pour my dirt and my tomato on my fire pit godspeed mr tomato head <laughs> at least you got to get transplanted for a couple hours so here's what i'm doing i'm moving rocks even though i shouldn't be because i got a, a pulled unit but what are you gonna do you know so it didn't help that i've got a wheelbarrow that looks great on the outside but on the inside it's a different story and it looks like it has air but it doesn't hold any air it's just it's being a uh, counterfeit wheelbarrow because it's a flat tire <sighs> it's pretty difficult pushing those big rocks with a wheelbarrow with a flat tire what are you going to do when the coffers are empty so anyways i think i'm gonna call it quits for the day might be raining again and uh, this weekend I'll have some more bathroom videos so see you guys later